This is a Kevlar combat helmet. This is a standard webbing system that supports it on the, on the soldier's head. The specification for this dates back to 1934. So you can see the technology, the technology of the helmet has advanced rather far, but the technology of the fit to the human hasn't changed at all. Okay. This, this device is painful to wear. It cuts off the blood at the skin, it causes ischemia. We often think of, uh, we describe pain in different ways, but we often refer to short-term pain as burning or a hot spot. That's capillary blood loss. Deep vein thrombosis is blood clots deeper in the tissue. This, this hurts. This is also unstable. When you put it on, it, it moves easily and it'll fall over your eyes and have to be repositioned to, to even shoot a gun. Very primitive device, very dangerous device. In a standard impact test, this thing will give 212 Gs to the brain. That's a serious concussion. You won't wake up for days and you will be permanently injured. What we're going to do instead is we're going to change all that. And this doesn't look like anything special at all. These are little black pads. <clears throat> These little black pads took five years to develop and seven and a half million dollars of our money to make. Let's see, this one's not... Okay, inside here is a material that looks like this only it's coated with a coating that makes it waterproof, but gas permeable. I understand. That means sweat proof and you These, say waterproof. Perspiration won't go through this, but this actually can float in water. This helmet, that helmet sinks. This helmet floats. That has, how important is that? If you're a Marine and you're in four feet of water, that makes it, it means the difference between getting up or not getting up. The waterproof is, is important, but in a human condition, it has to breathe air and heat, otherwise it'll just cook you. I can make that waterproof by putting a baggie around it. It'll just set me on fire. All right, now you're going to put this on? I'm going to, well, yeah. The, the first attribute of this is it's comfortable. Second, it's stable. It doesn't move. So I can mount, now I can mount our night vision goggles up here and they don't fall down in my face. We also changed the webbing. We went from a single piece of webbing to four pieces of webbing with a fifth nape cushion. So when I put it on, this thing is sensing the temperature and pressure of my head and it's adjusting itself. You notice that it isn't moving anymore. If I tighten the straps, this will really be good. Um, I have an integrated nape strap. When this is adjusted, this helmet cannot come off. No way, it's jump qualified. So now it's painless. I can wear it indefinitely. I've worn one for four days and four nights. My wife finally told me I made my point. I could take it off. We have had soldiers wear it for up to four weeks. Never took it off. That's comfort issues. It's also, it's also self-cooling. Shock absorption is another issue. We already talked about this. This is 216 Gs. Serious concussion. 90 Gs is the threshold of injury. Anything below 90 is no injury. So that would be desirable. The only problem here is the best helmet ever made was 175 before this came along. This has about a 65 G shock transmission. It's the lowest in history, and it's usable. We could get maybe we could make something better than this, but if the guy wasn't willing to wear it, what good's it going to do? So this one he's willing to wear. It's a 65. We're under the shock threshold. So we'll use this as a test device. We'll use this as the accelerator. I'm going to actually bonk this a little bit, and I'm going to and I'm going to use the helmet. The helmet weighs four pounds. The standard test is a five kilogram weight around this, traveling 10 feet per second. I'm going to accelerate this just a little more than 10 feet per second. Four pounds for a point of perspective. A carpenter's hammer weighs 16 ounces. This is four carpenter's hammers. All right. I'm going to swing it at the end of my arm and impact the top of the helmet. And this goes fast, so I have to tell you about it so you have time to watch, because I'm not going to do it twice. OK, you ready? Here we go. As fast as I can hit it. There's, everybody looks at my eyes to see if they're dilated. They're fine. There's no jolt. There's a little jolt to the neck. It's very slight. The big risk here, getting the wrong helmet on. Very dangerous.